Welcome to the Mindset Game podcast. I'm excited to welcome back Susan Wallace, an internationally recognized hypnotherapist known as the teaching therapist. And Susan has very kindly offered to guide you through a guided visualization, very powerful exercise uh, to help you to attract your ideal clients. And so Susan, thank you in advance for uh, taking us through that. And uh, we will reconnect uh, at the end. Super, thank you. So before we get started, I would like to remind you that very often people drift into a natural state of hypnosis. So if you are driving a car, if you are operating machinery, if your conscious attention is required, please do not listen to this recording right now. You can return to it at a time where it is safe to do so. But if you are ready to use your imagination and to develop the insights so that you can attract the kind of clients that are a perfect fit for the services or the products that you offer, then I'd like to invite you to close your eyes so that you can be in a distraction-free environment. And with your eyes closed, I'd like you to simply breathe in. Follow your breath into your body and allow yourself to experience relaxation. You see, in order for your creative mind to work as best as it can, we need to release any anxiety, any stress, any busyness that we might feel. So welcome relaxation into your body as you breathe in. And simply imagine or conceive of an island, a beautiful island that is sitting off the coast. And what I'd like you to do is to think to yourself about the one single problem that you love to solve for your clients or customers? What is that big problem that you just love to solve for your clients or customers? And as you look at that island, name that island with a problem that you solve. Because in many ways, that island there is the pain island. And this is the place where all of your high end, fully committed customers are living. You see, they're stuck on this pain island and they desperately want to leave, but they cannot. They desperately want to leave so much so that they are all gathered and queuing at the keys, at the docks, waiting for someone to take them away and to bring them to the place that we are going to call Pleasure Island. You see, your customers are stuck on this place called Pain Island and they desperately want to get off. 
And in their dreams and longing, they imagine how good their life will be when they finally reach this place called Pleasure Island. And they need someone to rescue them, to guide them there, to take them on the journey. And there are a lot of boats in the harbour. There are so many boats in the harbour. There are huge big yachts and freight boats. And then there's your boat. And your business is your boat. And it's possible that your boat is a lot smaller than so many of the other boats that you see there in the harbour. So how can you make sure that your boat can take your customers from Pain Island to Pleasure Island? First thing that you need to do is to understand the symptoms that your customers experience. What are the symptoms that they experience that make them desperate to escape this place? If you can, right now, think of three symptoms that you know your customers experience. Really think to yourself how it would feel if you are stuck on this place called Pain Island, experiencing this problem, and you desperately want to leave. How would you feel? What is the dominant emotion your customers are feeling. Are they experiencing frustration? If not, what are they experiencing? Become really clear on this strong emotion that is driving them, inspiring them to find a solution and to escape from Pain Island. And become clear on the three symptoms that so many, most of them experience. And your job as a business owner is to get as many of those customers off of Pain Island and to deliver them to where they want to go, to Pleasure Island. So in your mind right now, connect with your customers and how happy they are. And think to yourself from all of the positive feedback and testimonials that you've had over the years, what are the three big benefits people get by doing business with you? 
because these are the benefits your customers are looking for that they know await them when they get to Pleasure Island. So there you are in your little boat, out there in the harbour, doing your best to vie for that business, surrounded by your competition. Your business is your boat. And you are the captain of your boat. And like every good captain, you have been given a loud speaker. So what are you going to say? So that the people on Payne Island pay attention to you. What can you say that will cut through the noise, the chaos of so many different sales and marketing messages from your competitors? Because let's be honest here, the people on Payne Island, they don't necessarily want to get on your boat. Your boat, your business is just the vehicle that's going to take them to where they want to go. The best way to make a lasting impression is to pick up that loudspeaker and speak to them by name. If your business is in car sales, car owners, if your business is in yoga, yoga students, speak to them by their name. And then talk to them about the three symptoms that they are experiencing. And let them know that you know how they feel. Because when you know the three big symptoms they are suffering from and the emotion that drives them to look for the solution, and when you can verbalize the three big benefits that they are craving, then you can communicate powerfully and authentically to the people that you most want to serve. And in doing so, you can step out of your own way. And as a boat owner, your product, your service can guide them to Pleasure Island and help them to navigate the treacherous waters that lie between Pain Island and Pleasure Island. And you know, it might be a case that you need to map out the steps that they need to take. Because your service, your product can make sure that they don't get caught up in the currents, the strong ocean currents that might otherwise throw them off course. Your service, your product can provide them with the help, the support they need to successfully master each part of this journey from Pain Island to Pleasure Island. 
So imagine that you're picking up your loudspeaker and offer your help. And you know the best way to get really clear on this is to imagine that just for today, you're only going to rescue one person. And if you could only rescue just one person from Pain Island, who would that be? Who is your ideal client? Make them real right now. See that man or see that woman and see them there on Pain Island at the harbor, desperately waiting for help. Entrepreneur might be the name. I know that you are feeling lost. I know that you feel unworthy, caught up in negativity, and unable to break through your own limiting beliefs. And more than anything, you want to list the benefits. Connect deeply with your customers. Experience confidence and connection when you make your call. Tell your client that one person that you can help them to achieve their goal. Invite them to join you. And experience the benefits of your product or service. Because the simple fact of the matter is this, that harbor on Pain Island is real. That harbor is Google, Yahoo, Bing, or whatever search engine your clients are using. Or maybe it's Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or some other form of social media. But your clients are out there and they have congregated and you know exactly where they hang out. And the symptoms that they experience, well, they are the words that they are tapping in on their phone. The words that are prompting websites and search engines to return results. And you know the benefits your clients get from your products or services. Never forget that your business is like a boat, but most importantly of all, that you are the captain and your marketing message is your loudspeaker. And it doesn't matter how big the competition may be. When your message is heartfelt, when you know the strong emotion that they want to shake off, and when you know those three symptoms they're experiencing, then you can speak in a heartfelt way to them that will grab their attention and make them want to know more from you. Now, I'd like to just throw in a hypnotic suggestion here that every time you listen to this recording, 
that your creativity becomes stronger and stronger as you use the wealth of knowledge from the insights and experiences you already have from your customers and clients. And you combine that with the boundless and unlimitless potential of your imagination and creative mind. And when you're ready, I'd like you to take a nice deep breath in. Follow your breath into your body. And as you exhale, allow yourself to come back to everyday suggestibility. And again, take another breath in. This time, allow that breath to re-energize your body. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Thank you so much, Susan. That was incredible. Uh, it was incredible for me personally, and I hallucinate for uh, others who listened or watched you right now. And um, I invite everybody to, if you haven't already, to listen to part one of this episode with Susan Wallace, uh, to hear her many wonderful, important insights and guidance. And Susan, can you share with us again, how can people connect with you, learn more about what you have to offer? Sure. Well, the simplest way probably is to find me on my website. It's an Irish website. So it's hypnosisacademy.ie or simply uh, search for Susan Wallace and add the word hypnosis and I'll probably pop up. Wonderful. Thank you again, Susan, from all my heart. Deeply grateful to you for the good, important work that you do because Every one of us deserves to be on Pleasure Island and to experience that and to give that. So thank you. Thank you. And Vered, I love the work that you're doing. Keep up the amazing, the amazing work that you're doing and the connections that you're building. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much. Much love. Thank you. Thank you.